What's up everyone? You're probably wondering, if you haven't seen these on the internet, you're probably wondering what in the heck did I just drive up on? This is my snow dog. It's, uh, it's made in Russia. Russia? It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I gotta tell you. It's the ultimate early ice machine. It's lightweight. It's 300 pounds. You see, you can stand in the, in the sled here. I can daisy chain multiple sleds. Drive it kind of like a snowblower. This thing is bad to the bone. You know, they've been on the market for a few years now, and a lot of people have scoffed at them. I have to admit, the first year I saw them, I was like, yeah, that's pretty neat, but I'd probably never use one. This thing is so much fun to drive. It's so fun to cruise around out here on the ice. This is my first day out here on Lake Winnipesaukee. I've been out here checking ice. Ice conditions are decent in this area, and so I'm able to just kind of drive around and punch holes and, and just enjoy the ride, stand up ride. This thing is so cool. It has a it has a 420 cc Briggs and Stratton motor on it, and it basically has a snowmobile drive system. It has a primary and a secondary clutch. It has a track, just like a snowmobile, except it has bogey wheels, so we don't have to worry about those no snow conditions that we get out here carrying a gallon of dish soap with us all the time. This thing is amazing. Um, I don't know what kind of fuel economy I'm gonna get out of it, but I've been out here all morning, tooling around, checking ice, getting ready for guide trips. And at the fuel, I can't even tell if the fuel has gone down. So gonna get pretty good mileage out of it. I'm sure you've seen these. Maybe you've scoffed at them like I have. This is the, uh, this is the VMER. Uh, 13. This one has reverse. <coughs> and, excuse me, it's like 7 degrees out here right now. It's cold. I'm so excited to have this thing. This thing, is, it's, it's going to be so fun. I can run multiple shelters or sleds behind me and tow my clients. Uh, let me give you a quick tour. So like I said, it has that Briggs & Stratton Professional Series 420cc motor. 13.5 horsepower in New Hampshire you do have to register this as a snowmobile so I registered it as a snowmobile a nice uh, I think it's a 20 inch wide track like even wider and uh, comes with a hitch on it and Snowdog makes these sleds these sleds are really nice they're nice and heavy duty they come with runner kits on the bottom of them you don't even have to put the runners on it and you can daisy chain you see I have padlock on here because I forgot to bring a a pin with me but I'll fix that next time but that works I have seats coming that will fix in these sleds I have one more sled so I can tow clients in the sleds and uh, just run around out here it's it, it pulls no problem it, it, this one has electric start there's your brake here choke it has a, a, a light on the front of it with high and low beam um, kill switch and throttle over on this side. It even has a 12 volt um, socket. Now, I have not rigged this machine at all. I've done, I've done nothing to it. I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to do to it. I have a bunch of parts on order. Uh, I do plan to try to figure out how to mount an auger rack somewhere on here, but I want to mount it. I had a plan already and I realized that uh, one of the cool features of this is that this handle flips down for storage. So it makes it even more compact. Put it in the back of my pickup truck. But I need something, and I was going to mount an auger rack right across here. But I, I need something that isn't going to interfere with that close, uh, with that handle flipping down on, on the top there. So I have another idea that I'm going to try to mount it in the back here. I have a, a ball mount coming so I can mount uh, a big... Helix 9 GPS unit on here so I can see where I'm going without having to have it right up in front of my face or having to use my phone. I can run my Navionics chip on that. And uh, for the most part, that's that's it. Some storage options in here. You can see it's got this nice little storage. I got my, my Vexlar in here. Great storage compartment. This thing is so cool. Uh, I've been watching these for the last couple of years. There's a, there's a guy on Lake Winnipesaukee last year that had one and I got up close. I uh, got to look at it, got to talk to him about it, and they're the real deal, man. These things are great. You know, my, my I have a Bearcat. I love that Bearcat, but it's almost 700 pounds, and 
I could drive it out here now with seven inches of ice, but that early five inch ice period, no way, four or five inches of ice. I just don't like driving that big snowmobile, especially when I'm bringing clients out here. This snow dog is gonna be perfect for that. I'm absolutely blown away by this machine. You're gonna see a lot more videos coming, so stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah.